Hi guys, Paul here, and I've had a number of people ask me about my settings on my Mobius. Uh, they seem to like the footage quality that I seem to be getting at the moment. So uh, I'll run you through exactly what the settings are that I'm using. Now, generally speaking, I'm using the same settings as what Scorpius put up on the RC Groups forum. That's where I got the initial baseline settings that I started using. And sure enough, that was way better than the default settings. It made a phenomenal difference. That probably got the video quality out of the Mobiuses that we're using, mine and Thomas's, 90% uh, of the way there or 95% of the way there. And since then, I've just made a little few little tweaks. So I'm going to go through the screenshots and show exactly what I've got. So this is the first screenshot, which shows you the basic settings. Now, date and time, I've got that set to yes. So what it's going to do is basically sync with my computer. It just helps sort the files out when I load them into Final Cut Pro a little bit better. Time stamp. I've got that off, I don't want to see that. I'm using the standard lens, so I've got A selected. Artificial light, in Australia we're running at 50 hertz, so hence I've got that set to 50 hertz. Uh, places like the US, uh, I think Japan, etc., they'll be running uh, 60 hertz, and I believe the UK will also be running 50 hertz like us. Now video about, I've got set to PAL and 4x3. I don't actually use the video out, so I don't know how much of a difference this makes. I run a dedicated FPV camera. So power on, auto record, I've got that set to off. I don't want it to record automatically, I want it to fire up and I'll select what I want it to record. Power on delay, I've got that set to fast. Power off, standby, I've got that set to one minute. Sometimes I get distracted, I put the, Go, the uh, Mobius on and I might get distracted or forget to switch it off. Uh, this way at least it does switch off after a minute and I don't waste the battery. So um, once you start recording, obviously this, this isn't applicable. Power disconnect immediately, that's all right. Um, USB charging, I've got that enabled. So we'll go to the global recording settings. And these are pretty much default. I don't think I've changed much here. I'm just having a look through it. Loop recording, I've got that off. Audio on, motion, motion detect is off. Um, wide dynamic range, I've got that switched off. And the reason for that is I want that really contrasted look. So I'm, I'm happy to lose a little bit of data. I, don't, I didn't want the wide dynamic range off on, on, sorry. Now, obviously, I think if, you, if you're flying FPV with it, you may want that on. I'm not sure, but I've got it switched off. Uh, data rate, obviously set that to the maximum because you want the absolute maximum quality. And video clip length. Now, I've got that set to maximum. Now, the advantage in that is I get one big long clip, and that's fantastic. It's easy to edit. Some people don't like that and they have it set to say 15 minutes or 10 minute intervals. Now the advantage in that is if something goes wrong and a file gets corrupted or something like that, at least you're not going to lose all your file. You may lose a chunk of it, but not the whole lot. Having said that, I've got this on my mini quad and my mini quad only flies for like about five or six minutes anyway, so I've just got it set to maximum. Uh, rotation, no. Uh, photograph frame size, these aren't really applicable because I don't take photographs with mine. Video mode, uh, just the main one, mode one. Um, I've got it set to 30 frames per second and I'm running 1080p and um, fill the view wide and rotation, no. And finally, we move on to the advanced settings. Now, this is where the major changes have been made. Sharpness, I've set that to 20. Exposure, leave that as normal. Contrast is set to 23 and saturation I've set that to 20 I'm thinking about actually lowering that a bit at the moment because it seems to be slightly oversaturated the, the video footage so you may want to drop that down to about 18 or thereabouts but I'm still toying with that because in different conditions it's really hard to get the quality just right uh, color options I've set that to normal okay so the white balance and some people set this to auto auto works really well if you're not moving the camera around you're not going through different changing conditions the problem with auto is I found when I first ran it on auto, it was terrible because it would actually change the color of things. So you couldn't even color correct video. It would just bugger things up big time. Um, Scorpius recommends using Cloudy, and I used that on my first few attempts, and that was fantastic. That worked really, really well. But what I've done is just tweaked it a little bit more. I've gone to custom one, and I've set up my own values here. And that sort of uh, sits somewhere between Cloudy and Sunny. So they're basically my settings on my Mobius camera. I hope you found that useful. And if you did, a thumbs up would always be appreciated, as would a share. If you've got any questions, down below. Thanks for watching, guys.